Let's talk a bit about mirrors inside of Blender and all the different settings. So for demonstration, I'll just be using the hotkey and hard ops alt X, but I'm going to also demonstrate um, what's happening in the actual modifier panel. So you can, you don't need the add on necessarily. All right. So the first and most obvious command is mirror. So let's say I have, you know, a detail over here that's not on the other side running a mirror modifier, which um, inside of hard ops, just alt X set to modifier. This will run a mirror and all that's doing is adding in a mirror modifier and setting it to the axis that we chose in this case, the X axis. Very simple. Now keep in mind that this Boolean cut right here is not applied and we know this because the Boolean is still live. It's still in the modifier stack here and I can't access the geometry of that Boolean until I actually apply it as you can see. Now let's undo this a few steps and keep it like this and then apply the boolean before we actually run the mirror. Now we have access to the geo here. So in this case, if we want to mirror the detail to the other side, we have two different options. We can use a symmetry or we can use a mirror. And I'm going to show you which one you should or shouldn't use depending on the situation. I could just use the default mirror modifier and we're totally good. No problem at all. It's non-destructive. Um, the issue here is I don't have access to the vertices on this side, only the vertices on this side. Now, if I want to have access to the vertices on this side, maybe I want to make a change here, but not over here. What I would need to do is apply the mirror. And that is what Symmetrize is doing. It's literally running a mirror, then applying it all in one step. So if that's what I was going for, instead of running a mirror and applying it, which is two steps, what I could do is simply run a symmetry, which is one step. Super easy stuff. Now, if you don't have that add on, you know, if you don't have hard ops, you can simply go in here to mesh, symmetrize. And it's a bit tricky here. You have to make sure you choose the right axis. The way I do it is I look at the gizmo up here. The one with the letter is the positive. The one without the letter is negative. So in this case, I'd be mirroring or symmetrizing rather from negative axis to positive on the X axis, which is what it's set to by default here. If I did it the other way around, it would just mirror the non detail to that side. So it's very important that you choose. That's why I prefer just alt X and hard ops and I'll never forget which one I need to do. So that's the mirror modifier and that is symmetrized. Now we just need to talk a bit about bisect. Now bisect literally cuts the mesh in half. If I alt X and then go to the bisect menu here, you're going to see cuts the mesh in half, cuts it in half again, depending on the axis I choose, cuts it in half again. Now at this point I can't do anything because the origin points in the corner. So no matter what I do, it's just going to either, you know, turn it into a plane or just do nothing. So I'm just going to reset, right click and set the origin to the geometry. And then I can, you know, just keep bisecting infinitely. Now, theoretically, I could keep bisecting it infinitely. That is all bisect is doing. It's cutting the mesh in half, removing the other side. Now we also have another option here for bisect and mirror. It says bisect and modifier and hard ops here. This will basically bisect the mesh, but instead of removing the other half, it'll add a mirror modifier so the other side is working non-destructively. So if I bisect it, it's doing the bisect operation. We have full access to only half of the mesh, but the other side is theoretical geometry, which has been applied via a mirror modifier. So it's doing two steps in one basically. Uh, kind of useful. I had a chat with Master Xeon uh, not too long ago, and I've kind of come down to the conclusion that this is just, you're not going to really use this too much, if I'm honest. Most of the time, you're going to be hitting um, mirror, symmetry, or just bisect. This is just something that's a bit more advanced that you, honestly, I don't even use. Now, the only other one you're really going to use is the new modifier option, and that just kind of stacks mirror modifiers so you can work with them. So, for example, if I did something like this and then I mirrored on the X and the Y, this is all kind of, that data is kind of built into one mirror modifier only. Whereas if I wanted to have, you know, the X on one modifier and the Y on another, I could just do, um, I could mirror it and then I could do Alt X, new modifier, and then I have two different modifiers controlling the different mirrors essentially. And by the way, you can press Alt X and if you Alt scroll, you can actually scroll through these settings a bit quicker. It's a very useful way to kind of skim through these and see what you need.
Now, sometimes you're going to want to mirror over the 3D cursor, um, whatever that situation might be. I don't know, but maybe in this case, I want to mirror the origin points at the cube. So if I mirror it, it's just going to mirror over itself. What if I want to mirror over the 3D cursor? I could do it one of two ways. I could set the origin to the 3D cursor and then mirror it that way. But what if I want the origin to be set at the center of the cube still? Then that's just, we're just going to have to reset it and it's going to be annoying. So a better option for this is to press Alt X and we can press the tab key. This will open up the advanced settings for the mirror here. And what we can, you can also turn this on as well instead of pressing tab. And then if you do that, you don't really need to ever change these too much. Maybe you have to switch to global sometimes. I don't know. But for the most part, you can pretend that's not there. Um, and, and here in the advanced settings, you can choose what you want to mirror over. In this case, we're going to mirror over the cursor as our pivot point. Super cool. Basically, what's happening behind the scenes with that is hard ops is, uh, if I were to show you the vanilla way, hard ops is essentially adding in an empty and then mirroring over that empty all in one step. Whereas in you know default Blender, you'd have to go in here, you'd have to add in, where in the world are the empties? Must be I'm not looking today. Basically, you could do the same thing, you know, in default Blender by adding the empty, adding the mirror modifier, choosing the empty, and you'd have the same effect, just a bit longer. So those are the advanced mirror settings in hard ops. You can also choose these other options, but most of the time you're going to either be using cursor or you're going to be using the active origin button. And that is essentially all you need to know about the mirrors in Blender. There's not really any other situation in which you'll need to know any more. So I hope this video was concise enough, got to the point, answered any questions you had about the mirror modifier. In summary, 90% of the time you're going to be using the good old mirror modifier, just the regular mirror modifier, no sort of trickery. And the other 10% of the time you're probably going to be using symmetry in the cases that you um, have real data and you want to simply mirror real data as well. You could use a symmetry. And those are basically the main two you're going to be using. The way I think of it is mirror, non-destructive, symmetrized, destructive. And you can kind of mix and match them depending on what you need. That's about it for today's video. Really hope it helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.